tips and tricks for a systematic and interdisciplinary pontic design. Here you can see a classic oval pontic, which is an unsatisfactory result for us. We have now determined the goal of creating a free gingival groove in the ovate pontic molding. The shaping is created using a 0.5 millimeter Durand foil, which is manufactured according to a wax up template and filled with composite. The systematic shaping to the ovate pontic is done step by step, starting from the palatal with a depth of approximately 2 millimeters. These steps are carried out once up to twice a week until the free gingival groove and the maximum pontic depth are reached. With an optimal transfer of the formed pontics to the laboratory, the adjustment time of too much or too little pontic pressure is almost completely eliminated. So that the dental technician receives the same situation as in the patient's mouth, I will show you the pontic transfer. Here you see the master model. The Durand foil from the patient with the shaped pontic is first tried, then the pontic areas are generously sanded free, and the foil is tested again, then the sensitive areas are blocked out and thus isolated, and the remaining areas are isolated using Vaseline. Then a gum-colored light kern resin is applied to the pontic area, and the splint is isolated. It is then released back onto the model and finally light curd. Very small modifications of the emergence profile are made and now the master model to produce the restoration is ready. Another tip is that wearing the Durand splint can lead to minimal movement of the neighboring teeth. This means that a fastening guide prepared in advance can show deviations. For this reason, we use a transparent light curtain composite. This gives us better control over the integration. We are pleased that we can now tell the patient that we have created a secret for her. I hope we were able to present the tips to you in such a way that you can implement them immediately into your treatment concept. Thank you.